Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another short video with the M3. This one shouldn't take too long uh, because all I'm doing is I'm going to replace the uh, the light switch in the uh, in the interior of the car. Now, um, as you can see, they are slightly different, um, but as I've um, previously uh, previously discussed, um, this is one of the few areas of the car, the interior, that uh, is being let down by the fact that the black um, on the switch has just been rubbed away. Um, it's a little bit odd, I've never really seen that before and none of my other cars have had have suffered that and I don't really know why. It's not something that you you touch put you know all the time like a steering wheel or something like that. So it's a little bit weird that it's happened. Um however it's you know it's not that big a deal. So what I've got here, I've got another one which is uh, this is actually off of an LCI car and you can see that the switch itself is ever so slightly different. It's got this nice silver brushed aluminium look finish about it which will look quite nice in the interior of this car it won't look out of place because you know if we look at things like the uh, the climate control switches and stuff like, and around the start stop switch we've got the exact same the exact same finish um as as this so yeah it'll look uh, it'll look quite nice i think now one thing i will mention with regards to this switch is the m3 car is fairly unique to the e9x you know series of cars in that it doesn't have front fog lights so other cars will may if you know obviously if they're equipped with front fog lights will have a front fog light uh, button here instead of just the rear one uh, which the m3 has so um obviously if you if you are going to do this then you need to make sure that you get one without the button because otherwise you'll you'll have a useless button and nobody wants that anyway let's uh let's get amongst it what we need to do is remove this one um as you can see it's held in with these three these three posts that go into the little you know those little rubbery plastic grommets so we need to extract it from the dash and uh yeah swap it over so let's uh, let's get on with it <laughs> Okay, so in order to get this out, what I'm going to use is these little plastic pry tools. And I'm going to use these plastic ones. I'm not a screwdriver because the last thing I want to do is mire up the uh, the dashboard that the uh, the switch is actually fitted into. And all I'm going to do is get it in behind and just pry it open. And it should start to come out like so, as you can see. We just got to overcome the friction between those those little posts and the little grommets that they fit into, and then it should be able to just be pulled out. Nothing too strenuous. Here we go. And there we are. We're starting to starting to come out. Okay, disconnect, push in the little button there, the little grey bit will pop round, come out just like so, and that's it. As you can see, the back is pretty much identical. Now obviously, if you got one of these lights and um, the, the surround was different, um, they do actually pop apart. There's a lot of little tangs here, look. So you can actually just pop this off of this trim if you needed to. Um, it's, uh, it's pretty straightforward. Okay, so all I need to do, fit this in like so, push it up until it clicks. And then this little lip here needs to make sure, I need to make sure it goes behind this trim, which it has. And then simply push it home until it's fully seated. There we go. Really is that easy. Now, what I need to do is obviously I need to test the lights and make sure that they uh, they work. So uh, I'll grab the key, stick it in, start her up, make sure the lights come on. 
Okay, so if I turn the switch now, we should get, there we are, we're getting lights on the dash and the fog light, there we go, spot on. And off again, so, yeah, there we are, that is that done, and as you can see, it looks a lot better than uh, than this um, this one, yeah, it's, you can actually feel, you, in fact, I'm, I can peel it off with my fingers, look, you can, you can see it scratching off, so I'm not, I'm not sure what's caused that, Absolutely no idea, um, but I no longer require this. Um, uh, and I'm never gonna need it again, so I'll probably just throw that one in the bin, it's no use to me. So yeah, I'm, uh, I'm pleased with that, and I think that that switch looks much nicer than the uh, the pre-LCI one. The LCI one just fits with, you know, all of the other switches in the car. It looks really, really good. Anyway, guys, that's that. A pretty, uh, pretty simple, uh, quick video with the M3. Um, hope you enjoyed it, hope you found it useful. Uh, if you uh, if you want to feel free to leave a comment below join us on the socials facebook instagram and twitter links in the description i will see you all again very very soon for another video take care guys bye bye now